a loyal friend. Princess Bella had a new lady-in-waiting named Mandy. Don't worry, said the princess. We are going to be great friends. The kind princess helped Lady Mandy learn everything she needed to know about living in the palace. You are so kind to me, princess, said Mandy. I don't know how to thank you. Join me at the royal ball, said Bella. We'll dance the night away. And so they did. Princess Bella danced with all the princes while Mandy danced with the royal guard. When the ball was over, Mandy hugged Princess Bella. I had a wonderful time, she said. Bella squeezed Mandy's hand. The palace is a much happier place, thanks to you, Mandy, my loyal friend. The end. The Mermaid Ball. Everyone under the sea was getting ready for the Mermaid Ball. The mermaids and the sea creatures were busy decorating the undersea cave. But one young mermaid wasn't planning to go. Megan and May found their friend Nicole inside a sunken ship. I don't have anything to wear, said Nicole. Don't be silly, said May. Megan and I will find you a very special outfit for the ball. Follow us. Come with me, Nicole, said Megan. I have something really special for you to wear. Megan led her friend to a secret coral reef. There she opened a large oyster shell to find some lovely pearls. Oh, Megan, said Nicole, how beautiful. And there's a string of pearls for each of us, Megan said happily. The mermaids swam back to the sunken ship to get ready. They had so much fun dressing up. This is really exciting, said Nicole. I'm so glad I'm going to the ball. At the ball, the three mermaids had a wonderful time, dancing and swimming the night away. The end. A royal party. Princess Layla wanted to throw a wonderful party for her husband, the prince. She had a royal meeting to plan the party. Layla wanted to keep the party a surprise from her husband, the prince. She sent her husband away on a little trip so she could get everything ready. Now that everything was almost done, Layla wanted to see the royal dressmaker. She asked the dressmaker to make her a wonderful gown. When the dressmaker was finished, she asked Layla to try on her dress. Princess Layla looked beautiful. When the prince came home, he opened the doors to the ballroom. He was so very surprised. This is the best present in the world, he said, hugging Layla. Thank you so very much. The end. Storytime Sparkle. Puppy loves to dig. Digger the puppy had huge paws and he just loved digging holes. One sunny morning, Digger dug big holes all over the garden. He was having a wonderful time until he noticed the mess he had made. Oh dear, thought Digger, perhaps I should go and play on the beach instead. As soon as he was on the beach, Digger began digging holes in the sand. This is fun, he barked, scrabbling harder and sending sand into the air. A family was having a picnic behind him. Please stop doing that, they called to the little dog. You're covering all our food with sand. Sorry, called Digger as he ran away. Digger ran to the empty part of the beach. I hope I don't get into any more trouble today, he said. Suddenly he heard a cry for help. Spout the baby whale was stuck on the sand. Please help me get back to the sea. Digger called Spout. At first, Digger didn't know what to do, but then he remembered he was good at digging. Scrabble, scrabble, scrabble. Digger worked away with his powerful paws, making a channel to the sea. Water surged up the channel towards Spout. That's it, Digger, called the stranded whale. 
Soon the channel was complete. Splosh Spout turned around and splashed his way back into the sea. Digger felt very proud and happy as he watched the little whale swim to where his mother was waiting for him. As a special treat for saving her son, Spout's mother gave Digger a ride in the water jet from her blowhole. Woof, woof. From now on, I'm only digging holes if somebody asks me to, chuckled Digger, barking with joy. Woof, 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 woof. The end. Dorothy's delightful birthday. The Wiggles have planned a super duper surprise for her. Happy Wiggly birthday, Dorothy. Dorothy woke up in the morning and looked around her room. It was her birthday. There were balloons, streamers and a big birthday banner up for her. The Wiggles must have done this. How delightful, she said, clapping her hands. She was so excited she jumped out of bed. It was time for her birthday breakfast. She followed a trail of roses to her garden. Happy Wiggly birthday! What is a fun thing to do on your birthday? The trail of rose petals stopped and Dorothy saw the Wiggles ready to sing her a happy birthday song. What a lovely surprise! Happy birthday, Dorothy! sang all the Wiggles. The four friends put on a show, singing all Dorothy's favourite songs. Wags and Dorothy linked arms and did a little jig around the garden. What does Dorothy love to do? Time for tea! Dorothy sat down at the table with Henry, Captain Feathersword and Wags. There was also a picnic laid down on the grass with lots of yummy things to eat. I made the fruit salad, said Anthony, with a big grin. We have lots of fun things planned for you, Dorothy, Murray said excitedly. And before we go, we have a special birthday cake for you. After they had all eaten, they were ready for their big day of activities ahead. The first stop of the day was the SS Feather Sword. Dorothy was being taken on a sailing adventure. Where are we off to? Dorothy asked Captain Feathersword. It's a surprise, me hearty, he sang with a great big grin. The Wiggles love it when he sings. Why don't we all sing songs while we sail? asked Sam. Let's sing and dance to some pirate tunes as we get ready for our ocean adventure. Time to board the ship. Friends ahoy! Before long, the SS Feathersword pulled into a beach. It's beautiful, Dorothy said. It's time for some fun in the sun, Jeff called out. Let's play some beach cricket. The friends made up small teams and played in the sand. After putting on their hats and sunscreen, of course, what other games can we play? Dorothy asked when they were finished. The Wiggles and all their friends called out lots of options. There are so many fun things to do at the beach. What do you do at the beach? Dorothy wanted everyone to help with one final thing before they had to leave. Let's build a sandcastle, she said. Everyone dove in to help make the best sandcastle ever. Dorothy's birthday. Henry wanted to help but his arms were full of buckets and spades. All the friends found shells and flowers, even a little flag to add on to the sandcastle. Together they managed to make an amazing sandcastle. Good work everyone, thanked Dorothy. What would you put on your sandcastle? After a long day, the Wiggles dropped off all the friends back at their homes, one by one. Lastly, they arrived at Dorothy's house. Thank you for an amazing day. You are all so great friends, said Dorothy. I would love to make you some rosy tea before you go. Just to say thank you, 
so very much. So the birthday girl and her friends enjoyed some rosy tea at the end of the day, and Dorothy felt like a very special girl indeed. What is the best thing in the world? asked Dorothy. Friends, of course. The end.